All right, so I wanted to um to ask about the distinction between um killing and murder, um in relation to what you were talking about earlier. Um, say in the case that there's World War Three, for example, I can't even hear you. Yeah. Talk about killing and murder distinction and World War Three and killing. Okay. Yeah, and if you are conscripted in that case. In what? In that case. In what case? If you were conscripted, if those are war. Conscripted? What's conscripted? What do you mean? Uh, where you're forced to. Um, oh, that's to fight what you're asking. Your if you're yeah. forced to go fight, well, that's. You had that situation in the first century. He's asking me a good question. If I'm a Christian and I'm forced to go to fight in a war, and I end up killing people in that war, am I accountable? Well, let me give you from the example of the New Testament. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, there were many centurions and Roman soldiers who became Christian who still had to fight as soldiers under the government, and yet they were not asked to stop being soldiers, which means the Lord takes your situation into account. Okay. Because the centurion, remember Cornelius, the centurion, he became a Christian, other Roman soldiers became Christian. So if you are a soldier and you become to faith and you're forced to fight, the Lord takes that into account and consideration that your intention isn't to murder people, but you are called to duty to fight for the survival of your country. So the Lord is merciful in that sense because he didn't demand that Roman soldiers should stop fighting in the war to become Christians. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes that sense. Makes sense. I hope you never go to yeah. war, but yeah. if you do, make sure when you see me, I'm not an enemy, I'm a friend because I don't want to have to take you 